Good morning and welcome to Kids Church. This morning we're continuing with our series about Jesus the Storyteller and looking at some of the amazing stories that Jesus told us. And this morning we are looking at the parable of the sower. So Jesus told them this story. Listen. Once there was a man who went out to sow corn. As he scattered the seed in the field, some of it fell along the path, and the birds came and ate it all up. Some of it fell on rocky ground where there was little soil, and the seed soon sprouted because the soil wasn't deep. But when the sun came up, it burnt the young plants, and because the roots hadn't grown deep enough, the plants soon dried up. Some of the seed fell among thorn bushes which grew up and choked the plants and they didn't produce any corn. But some seeds fell in good soil and the plants sprouted, grew and produced corn. Some had 30 grains, some 60 and others 100. Later on, Jesus said to his disciples, did you understand what I was telling you about? And the disciples went, um, well, uh, I don't, I'm not sure. Well, maybe we didn't. So Jesus said to them, well, let me explain the story for you. The sower is like the person who tells God's message. Some people are like the seeds that fall along the path. As soon as they hear the message, Satan comes and takes it away, like the birds did with the seed. Other people are like the seeds that fall on the rocky ground. As soon as they hear the message, they receive it really gladly, but it doesn't sink deep into them and they don't last very long. When trouble comes or when life gets tough, they give up at once. Some people are like the seeds sown amongst the thorn bushes. They hear the message, but worries about life and what they need and what they want and about money and about what's going on. Choke God's message. And they don't end up bearing any fruit. And then finally, we come to the good soil. And the person who is like the good soil is the one who hears the message and receives it gladly. And in their lives, they bear incredible fruit, sometimes 30, sometimes 60, and sometimes 100 times as much as what was originally sown. So why did Jesus tell us this story? And in some ways, it's to show us that we don't know who will accept God's message and who won't. But also, it's because he wants our lives to be like the good soil, ready to hear what he has to say. And so how do we be like good soil? Well, by spending time with God, by reading our Bibles and getting to know what he's like, what the Bible says he's like, by worshipping together and talking to God and waiting to hear him speak. All of this helps make our lives like good soil. And you know what? God wants that for each one of us so that he can sow the most incredible things into our lives and see them grow and flourish. And he wants that for you. And so I'm just going to pray to finish. God, I thank you for the wonderful stories that you tell. And I pray that you would make our lives like that good soil, ready to receive the things that you have to say. And Holy Spirit, as those seeds are planted in our lives, I pray that you would make them grow and flourish and bear the most amazing fruit. Amen. <laughs>